I normally don't like to get involved with this kind of stuff, but it's been eating at me for a while and I really feel like this needs to be said. The release of Far Harbor was an absolute game changer. While the location itself isn't terribly unique, as we've seen parts of the Green Swamp aesthetic before, it introduced a truly unique item to Fallout 4. In the quest Brain Dead, that's the one where you try and solve a murder mystery in a vault full of robo-brains, you'll come across the scene of the crime, Ezra Parker's metallic corpse tipped over sideways with a splotch of blood near the robot. Ah, but what if I told you that wasn't blood? Do some sleuthing around the atrium and you'll find what used to be one of the rarest items in the game, a lone can of red paint. Now at the time of Far Harbor's release, it was incredible, the only can of red paint in the game. Sure, while the Commonwealth had an identical looking can, it was called a blood can. There was no paint in there, only blood. A truly rare item, this red paint can in it. Well, color me red, angry that is. When the release of Nuka World comes out, Go to Nuka Town backstage and the whole place is filled with red paint. Red paint can. Red paint can. What's that in the corner? Red paint can. It's time to grow up, Bethesda.